Hi everyone, how are you all? I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see in CRT Classic Science Chapter 7 Temperature and its Measurement Short Answer Questions. What is Temperature? Temperature is a reliable measure of how hot or cold a body is. A hotter body has a higher temperature than a colder one. So what is temperature? Every object can be hot or cold. To find how hot or cold something is, we measure its temperature. So temperature is a reliable way to know the hotness or coldness of a body. A hotter object has a higher temperature. A colder object has a lower temperature. Next one. What does the difference in temperature between two bodies show? The difference in temperature tells us how hot one body is in comparison to another. It helps us compare their levels of heat. A hotter object has a higher temperature. A colder object has a lower temperature. So by comparing their temperatures, we can tell which one is hotter or colder. For example, if the temperature of tea is 60 degrees Celsius and that of water is 25 degrees Celsius, then which one is hotter? The tea is hotter. So the difference in temperature tells us how hot one body is in comparison to another. What is a thermometer? Name two kinds of thermometers we commonly use. So what is a thermometer? A thermometer is a device used to measure temperature. The instrument used to measure temperature is called a thermometer. So, whenever we want to know the temperature, we use a thermometer. Then, name the two kinds of thermometers we commonly use. The two main types of thermometers are clinical thermometers and the laboratory thermometers. Then, what are clinical thermometers? Clinical thermometers are for measuring body temperature. Then, what about laboratory thermometers? They are used for experiments and other purposes. So we commonly use two types of thermometers, clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. Clinical thermometer measures human body temperature. Then what about laboratory thermometer? It is used in science experiments to measure temperature of liquids or other objects. Next one, what scale is used in clinical thermometers and what is its unit? Clinical thermometers use the Celsius scale to measure temperature. The unit of temperature on this scale is degree Celsius. So clinical thermometers use a Celsius scale to show temperature. The unit of temperature is degree Celsius. For example, normal body temperature is 37 degree Celsius. Why are mercury thermometers being replaced by digital ones? Mercury thermometers are being replaced because mercury is a toxic substance that can be dangerous if the thermometer breaks. Digital thermometers are safer and easier to read. Earlier, people used mercury thermometers to measure temperature. Mercury is a shiny liquid metal inside the thermometer, but mercury is very poisonous. That is, it is a toxic substance. If the thermometer breaks, it is dangerous and it is very hard to clean up. Then, what about digital thermometers? Digital thermometers are safer. Also, the numbers are easy to read on the screen. They use some heat sensors to find the temperature. 
How do digital thermometers measure temperature? Digital thermometers measure temperature with the help of heat sensors. They display the reading clearly on a digital screen. Digital thermometers, they run on batteries. They show the temperature in numbers on a small screen. Also, they use some heat sensors to find the temperature. What are non-contact thermometers and how do they work? Non-contact thermometers are also called infrared thermometers. Can measure temperature without touching a person's body. They use infrared technology to detect heat from a distance. During the COVID-19 pandemic, people used special thermometers that could measure temperature without touching the body. These are called non-contact or infrared thermometers. They work from a short distance. Why are non-contact thermometers important during diseases like COVID-19? These thermometers help measure temperature from a distance. Reducing the risk of spreading infection. They are safe and quick to use in public places. These non-contact thermometers could measure temperature without touching the body. They work from a short distance. So they help reduce the spread of infection. Because there is no direct contact with people. So they are safe and quick to use in public places. Why does the normal body temperature differ from person to person? The temperature of every person may not be exactly 37 degrees Celsius because it depends on factors such as age, time of the day and activity level. A healthy person can have a slightly higher or lower temperature. See, the normal body temperature of a healthy person is usually 37 degrees Celsius. But not everyone's body temperature is exactly the same. Some people may have a temperature that is little higher or lower than 37 degrees Celsius. And that is still normal. Then why does temperature change? A person's body temperature can change. Why? Because the temperature it depends on factors such as age, time of the day, activity level, etc. What is the usual temperature range for human beings? The temperature of humans normally stays between 35 degrees Celsius and 42 degrees Celsius. Temperatures outside this range may indicate illness or abnormal conditions. So, normally human body temperature stays between 35 degrees Celsius and 42 degrees Celsius. If it goes below 35 degrees Celsius or above 42 degrees Celsius, the person may be unwell and needs medical help. How can a digital thermometer be used for small children or old people? For small children or old people, a digital thermometer can be placed in the armpit. The temperature measured this way is usually 0.5 degree Celsius to 1 degree Celsius lower than the actual body temperature. For small children or old people, doctors often place the digital thermometer in the armpit under the arm. The reading from the armpit is usually 0.5 degree Celsius to 1 degree Celsius lower than the actual body temperature. For example, if a thermometer shows 36 degrees Celsius under the arm, the real body temperature might be 37 degrees Celsius. Do small children generally have higher body temperature than adults? Yes, small children usually have slightly higher body temperatures than adults because of their faster metabolism. Metabolism means all the chemical activities that happen inside our body to keep us alive and healthy. Metabolism is 
uh, how our body uses food to get energy to grow play work and repair itself the next one do old people generally have lower body temperatures than young adults yes older people tend to have slightly lower body temperatures even when healthy due to slower metabolism and reduced body activity what is a laboratory thermometer a laboratory thermometer is an instrument used to measure the temperature of substances in experiments it consists of a long narrow glass tube with a bulb containing a liquid like mercury or alcohol so a laboratory thermometer is a thermometer used in science labs it helps to measure the temperature of liquids solids or gases not the human body it has a long thin glass tube that is sealed at both ends at the bottom there is a small bulb inside the bulb there is a liquid like mercury or colored alcohol you can also see a thin line of liquid moving up or down inside the tube along the tube there is a celsius scale marked then what is the range of a laboratory thermometer the range of a typical laboratory thermometer is minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius what precautions should be taken while using a laboratory thermometer the thermometer should be held vertically and the bulb should not touch the bottom or sides of the beaker when you put the thermometer in the water the thermometer should be held vertically the bulb must not touch the bottom or sides of the beaker if it touches it may give a wrong reading because the beaker may be hotter or colder than the water hold the thermometer straight and vertical not tilted if it is tilted you cannot read the correct level of the liquid then the temperature must be read while it is still immersed in the liquid do not remove the thermometer before reading if you take the thermometer out the liquid level will fall quickly so you must read the temperature while it is still in the water then while reading the thermometer the eye should be directly in line with the level of the liquid column to be read keep your eyes in line with the top of the liquid column when you read it if you look from above or below you will get a wrong reading read the celsius scale marking that matches the top of the liquid why must the temperature be read while the thermometer is still in the water the temperature must be read while the thermometer is in water because the liquid column begins to fall as soon as it is taken out this shows that the thermometer cools quickly when removed if you take the thermometer out the liquid level will fall quickly this means you must read the temperature while it is still in water can we use a laboratory thermometer to measure body temperature no we cannot use a laboratory thermometer to measure body temperature why because laboratory thermometers are not designed for that they don't have a king to hold the reading and cannot be placed safely on the body these laboratory thermometers they are not designed for measuring body temperature they do not have a king to hold the reading also they cannot be placed safely on the body i have already uploaded chapter explanation videos and multiple choice questions those who have not watched please go through it thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe we will see in the next video thank you